Hey folks, it's Sunday morning and I'm saying that because for myself, after I edit this video, I have to know which video I'm editing. Uh, so this today is going to be a little bit of exercise and tutorial on the way we're going to be playing different parts of Happy To Be Stuck With You by Huey Lewis and the News. So, uh, hopefully you're happy to be stuck, you know, uh, because we're all stuck. And in the meantime, we have a lot of time on our hands. So we started working on this months ago and then had to put it away. So it's back out. I'm going to, uh, get things down here because I keep seeming to, and I'm gonna put this on a little bit of an angle because I notice my fingers always get out of the uh, view of the uh, camera. And right now I wanna show you fingers and I wanna show you some plucking, uh, picking and hammering on. So this song, pretty easy to start with. It's a C chord with, as you're strumming, you add the D, second fret of the third string. F, A minor, and D minor. Down, down, up. Whoops, excuse me. Down, down, up, down, down. Down, down, up, down, down. Back to C, down. some fun blah 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 this part's the easy you'll get the cadence of it sooner or later but what we're going to go down to now is the reprise we are bound by all the rest and there's a little walk down that you can choose one of two ways to do this uh, to make it stand out if some people actually just played the uh, the notes you'll have to watch my thumb on this and we're going to do this uh, two ways. We're going to pluck it up and down first. Well, let's see. To get this right, you have to start plucking with a up pluck. So you got your fingernail under it because now you're going down to the D, pluck up, down to A, so up, down, up, down, up. And another easy way to do this as far as the plucking goes would be to hammer on. Down, down, let's see. one you'll be able to hammer on later in the green uh, but the easiest way to do this now that's if people want to make it really sound out otherwise you just strum it C chord down when you add the D up with the C chord down when you add the A and back up with the C chord we are back seven 
7th to the E minor 7th is everything's on the same fret. You got to have this finger on the first string, this finger on the second string, this finger on the third string, because then you're going to rock back and forth between the G major 7th like this and the E minor 7th like this. to the F sharp minor and the A and the same address. Go back to the G major seventh. All the same friends and the same address. So you can on the video go back and forth over that if uh, it helps. Okay, now the chorus is pretty straightforward, and like I say, I'm going to dub over the uh, the green stuff um, so you'll see how all that sounds for the people who take that part. We're going to go on to page two at the top. is again a reprise that gets a little bit more difficult because now it's doing the C, and it's no great mystery. You do the same your voices you have to ooh it out and the ooing is going to be and the playing is going to be right there too now all you have to you don't have to do this uh, hammer on but the way I would do it is plucking notes, you're doing G, hammer on to A, C, hammer on to D, and E. So you don't have to come back up, you just so watch my thumb and then my first finger comes down. here your thumb just hits once so it makes it easy on the thumb rather than going back and forth with the thumb you can also just strum this and the people that are ooing are but what's going to happen is in the middle of their ooing on the D is the singers start to come on with if we, if we change, if we change our minds. So I'm going to go through the whole first line. Crunch them in. It's back to you and me. Then we do a chorus, and then again the uh, third reprise is going to be pretty much like the one we just that I just showed you there. We are bound by all the rest in the middle of the. Uh, Second page, there's a strum that comes in before we are bound. We are bound by all the rest. Da, da, da. Ooh, the same so like comes in when the oohers are doing the D. Like the A 
plus 4 and G is when the people sing, yes, it's true, in the background, and it sounds like that, that they're going to carry that tune. And you play it. to do that not on there but you'll ad lib on that and get used to it after a while and pick whatever you want to do what I would have my voice doing uh, is maybe different than what you would have yours doing but uh, ooh, when we start the chorus basically you're looking at a, a F sharp ooh, your voice. You're just walking up a D chord with your voice. And the singer at that point is not doing anything. Singers. I'm so happy to be stuck with you. We do that twice and, and we end it. Okay, enough for this video. That's 13 minutes worth of... <gasps>